A Terre Haute preschool is struggling to stay open. You might be familiar with Terre Haute Montessori. Yes, the nonprofit offer, uh, offers a private education. It's been around for many, many years. But troubling times may force the school to close its doors. News 10's Lindsay Yates explains. Like a best kept secret, the Terre Haute Montessori School offers a unique approach to learning. It's been practiced here for more than 40 years. They use a very hands on application um, to help teach the, um, the kids the skills. It's a very independent, child driven program. One that attracts parents like Jay and Marcy. Three of their girls have completed the program. I think just the nature of the free flow of the classroom really benefited them quite a bit. Also a plus, the classroom sizes. They've always been small, but this year it's not by choice. We can handle up to about 16 to 18 kids. Um, our level right now is 11. We have 11 enrolled in the school. And all of those students are part-time. The sharp decrease is being attributed to additions at Vigo County schools, such as new programs like free pre-K classes. It's kind of a sad, a sad thought, you know, if the numbers don't change, then definitely the school will have to close. Disheartening news for parents who are now scrambling to spread the word. When you come in, you can see that they are very much engaged. It would be, um, it would be a big loss, I think, if the school had to close down. Teachers at Montessori have already taken a pay cut, but that's not enough. The school is operating in the red. We need more kids to kind of get the program a little bit above to that we're not running right on the border. A line they don't want to cross in the wrong direction, forcing a difficult decision. In Terre Haute, with photojournalist Tony Cassasia, Lindsay Yates, News 10. Board members say monetary donations would be greatly appreciated. For more ways on how you can help, head over to our website. It's WTHITV.com.